that goes back to 2009, actually. Uh, there was three of us, uh, Vic Folliott, uh, myself, and uh, Larry Peters, got together. And, uh, well, uh, Vic and I actually were working in uh, uh, the community station in Kitchener uh, for many years, and we felt that... Um, there was a need for a community station to be set up in Centre Wellington. It was getting large enough that um, it was an area where it didn't have a radio station. We thought, you know, that would be a great opportunity. So um, we started doing some research and uh, and basically we came up with the, the uh, concept of opening up a station here. We were introduced to um, a gentleman at that time who worked for the township. Uh, Dave Rushton was his name and Dave... Um, said that they had been thinking about the same thing, about you know the need to start a community station um, through the township. And I had uh, imparted some, some radio CRTC wisdom on them that that wouldn't fly. Uh, you can't, uh, the, the, the township can't own a radio station, but um, that you know, we could set up a station uh, you know, where, where it would be very local and, and provide community information and so on and so forth. And so that's what we did. Uh, we applied for a license uh, with the CRTC. That process takes about a year, year and a half. There's a lot of technical things that have to be done around transmitter site location and different things. So we had to work through all of that. Um, the application got finished by the end of 2010. We submitted it in early 2011 and um, heard from the CRTC, I believe it was November of 2011, that we were approved and then the station went on the air in 2012. Originally uh, as 92.9, uh, the Grand at 92.9, which was a very small signal, very small footprint. And um, then as, as we kind of developed, uh, we um, found the need uh, to expand the signal because there were areas uh, that were just not um, receiving the, the station very well uh, and moved to um, 101.1. That work took about a year as well to, to kind of pull together because again, finding frequencies um, in Southern Ontario is very, very uh, complicated. There are not a lot available. Um, have to shoehorn things in. You have to work with other broadcasters to come up with solutions. So it is, uh, it is a long process, but we moved through that and, and we're here today. That's kind of a, a quick history lesson of, of how we got started. As you know, the Grand is, is, very, uh, is here as a very local radio station. We hear from a lot of people in the community how much um, they could not do without this radio station now. I mean, it provides uh, a very um, uh, local service uh, that um, you know they wouldn't get from anywhere else and and uh, it's 24 7 365 so i think the uh, the community has embraced the station we hear that more and more and more uh we see uh, the results of our of uh, our efforts and and you know we do have a small core staff but a lot of the people that, that are involved with grand are volunteers and so it's great